Haji Muhammad Ahmed grew up in a Muslim home. He earned the Haji title because he'd gone on a pilgrimage to Mecca. All my life, I was a very strong Muslim. In my family, our main purpose was to build mosques and spread Islam everywhere. As a leader in the mosque, Muhammad organized small gangs that prowled the streets looking for Christians. We would beat Christians who were going to church. In that area, I burned seven Bibles. He even attacked one Christian with a knife. That was Muhammad's life until one night he had a strange dream. When I was sleeping, some kind of voice came from heaven. But Muhammad, Muhammad, we're living in darkness. Come out from that cave and follow me. Muhammad knew it was the voice of the Christian God. When he told his mother about the dream, she refused to listen and kicked him out of the house. But because Muhammad grew up in a strict Muslim family, he refused to follow God. Then he had another dream, but this time, God was angry. Muhammad, you will leave this place of darkness and follow me. Muhammad still refused, but then became very sick. I couldn't eat. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. A very heavy burden just fell upon me. I went to different hospitals to get treatment, but I couldn't get healed. Then Muhammad remembered some missionaries who had tried to tell him about Jesus Christ. I was afraid my friends and my relatives would kill me, but I decided to call the missionaries to talk with them. They told me about the Bible and they encouraged me. I decided to receive Jesus as my savior. The same day, all my burdens and all my diseases disappeared from my body. Muhammad wasn't the only person to accept Jesus after his visions. I told my mother and other family members also about my healing and my peace, and many of them received Jesus. Although he knew his sins were forgiven, Muhammad felt guilty for the way he had treated Christians in the past. Still, I am asking forgiveness for what I have done before. Today, the man Muhammad attacked is a close friend. They've both been trained by Accelerated International Mission Strategies, or AIMS, to spread the gospel throughout Ethiopia. Muhammad says their friendship and work together could only come about through the healing power of Jesus Christ. I don't have any hesitation that Jesus is real. He is my peace, my healing, my ministry, and my savior.